system had recently released a new update, jam-packed with awesome features, like viewport ray tracing, new material effects like sheen and clear coat, upgraded painting, new masks, and a lot of things that you might not find in other software, things that you might not even know you needed. And here is a basic one that every artist has faced at least once in their lifetime. You're texturing a model and need to adjust the UVs. Normally, that would mess up your textures and brush strokes, forcing you to redo the work. But in Instamat, texturing is applied independently of the UV layout, meaning that if changes are made to the mesh's UVs, no texture work is lost. Here is another example. Say I'm making a material and I want to use it on more assets. In most tools, you can save it as a smart material. But when applied to other models, you have to redo masks, decals, and retarget every section. In Instamat, you just drag and drop the package into another model. And with the right setup, the same material can scale to as many assets as you need. And I can't emphasize how powerful this is, especially for big projects. And Instamat is able to achieve this through multiple really clever features. For example, mesh and submesh masks, which let you reuse the same material setup across complex models, while still controlling exactly which parts of the mesh it affects. So you don't need an ID map. As long as your mesh isn't connected to an actual mesh, you can easily mask it.